Hey guys, I forgot to do my bump date for this week. My head is killing me from sinus. I've been up from 12 to 8 till 9. Or 12 to 7 to 8 to 9. Just getting up and using that bathroom. So, I'm staying hydrated. I've got a baby shower to go to today. And the headache is from sinuses and stuff. Can't really take these aches up. The saline no spray. I gotta get that. And stuff. Um, I took my vitamin. The doctor prescribed heartburn pills for me. That's safe for the baby. And it's been working. I'm able to keep food down now. Where she's eight, it's not pushing up on her, right? Um, I had a banana for breakfast, a dog drinking water. Um, she has been more active flat since a 23 week update. And I, 20, I think she wakes up at one o'clock. Well, she moves all day, right? About one o'clock, she takes about a nap. And then she sleeps maybe two or three hours. And then at night, boy, I know she's there because I think she waits till Matt gets off and then she starts kicking. And I'm not talking about little kicks. I'm talking about that child punches. And I can't tell if she's head down or if she's leg down because. She, I can feel her swing in my belly, if that makes, it's, it sounds weird. I'll be laying there, and all of a sudden I feel, woo, and she done flipped or done something with that thing. And then, sometimes I put her feet down low, like, boo, 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 boo. And then sometimes I feel her head, like, last night, I swear that I could feel so, like pressure, like a heavy part, and I think it was her head, and it was right on my belly, and I could feel her. So that started just last night. So I think she's turned. I got his. <laughs> Sorry, I knew that was coming. So I think she's turned now. I think it's gonna rain here today too. I need a pick a nice little shirt to go on top of this shirt because my shirt my dress is like this and I don't want to be freezing you know it probably be hot anyway so it don't matter but anyways um I have weird dreams I can when I first got pregnant I before I even knew I was pregnant, I dreamed about the baby, and I dreamed she was a girl. And then I dreamed it was a boy, and all that other weird stuff later on. But when I first found out I was pregnant, I dreamed it was a girl. But, um, what was it? Then I dreamed, like, I'd watch something scary. I dreamed about this man chasing me, chainsaw. Well, last night, getting to my point, we watched Michael Myers, that movie. And I dreamed about snakes. Everywhere snakes. And I was sitting there thinking, oh no. This just can't happen. I know more scary stuff. No, no. And I dreamed I stabbed one in the eye. Next thing I know, one bit me. And I was like, <gasps> I woke up. So, but I don't like them type of dreams. And stuff, so. But, um. I've gained 11 pounds through the whole pregnancy when I went to the doctor last. I feel when I probably gained three more pounds. See where I'm overweight, I'm only allowed to gain 15 to 20 pounds, which I'm doing good. But I have a feeling that it's going to go back up. The weight is hard to maintain once I start getting a bigger belly. I've already got a belly now, but... It's going to come out more. And it's so funny. Matt's like, oh my gosh, you got all these stretch marks. Well, I've got the stretch marks for stretching. 
and then things hurt and I use cocoa butter and you know that cocoa butter is just gonna make it cream it it's not gonna get rid of them stretch marks it's not gonna hide them so I'm hoping they go away after but um anyways it looks like I, I have these stretch marks for a big 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 belly and it ain't a big big belly but she said I was measuring for my weight on time for the baby and you know, stuff like that and I go back the 16th of July and then toward the end of July I'll be in the third trimester and then I'll be almost done with the pregnancy so not much longer kind of excited and stuff so I guess I'm gonna get up and show you my belly oh and I also go back for my glucose test Matt said no I'm supposed to eat my normal food for that night, and I'm going to, but I'm not going to drink it. I'm not going to be stupid and drink a sweet tea before I go. I mean, that's just asking for it. <clears throat> and I am allowed to have water. So, about 12 that night, I can't have nothing until I get up. And my appointment's at 8.30, so I can drop Matt off and then go go to my appointment oh my gosh oh. so my glucose test is, is this coming month and stuff um, I need to wash more baby clothes my baby shower is in August it's the 24th but um, online if you want to send just email me and I will do a video response like I did for Sarah Hepworth and stuff. But um, I'm kind of excited. This first baby and nervous at the same time because I know it's going to be scary giving birth because <clears throat> I do not want a C-section. My sister-in-law had a C-section. My friend is choosing a C-section over a vaginal birth. Because she don't want to feel pain. And I'm sitting there thinking, huh? <laughs> you don't want to feel pain of it coming out, but you're going to feel the pain um, after you have the C section because they're going to give you pain pills and it's going to hurt. I've been cut for the, uh, I don't know, what do you call it? And, uh, appendix. I had my appendix taken out. And I believe that that was, that was, I hated not being able to. To get up because I had the IV in and I was so drowsy with that stupid ugh. I don't know if they gave me Vicodin or what but that stuff I had to take half of one because it made me so ugh. so I don't I don't want to be cut in half if I don't have to be and I think it's crazy that we can choose to have a c-section over a vaginal birth when our bodies are naturally made to do that I think that's cheating I love you, Kayla, but I do I think I think it's cheating. But that's her choice. Me, I don't want to be cut open. Unless it's an endangerment to the baby and the baby needs to get out. Okay, here we go. Oh, I've been having a hard time with my right side because it's getting out of bed and stuff. It hurts. It's like it's pulling. Even if I get out of the tub, it hurts. And yeah, I'm wearing stripes. Okay. But you can see she is coming out. Finally, I've got a bump and stuff. I've got to pick me out a nice dress for the uh, maternity suit and stuff and then the baby shower so if beginning of next month I'm going to Ross's I'm going to try some dresses on and pick up some cute stuff to get my pictures taken in but um I hope you enjoy this bump update I'm going to get off here and relax before I have to leave out at one Hope you guys have a wonderful week. Busters, but how are they doing so?
Can you say hi? But um, I will see you guys next week. This is my 24, 4 weeks through 25 weeks in one day. So, I'll combine them two together. Bye guys.